all right so i kind of just wanted to show another thing as well um basically there is this youtube video i think um Ro my friend rossi made like a montage or some shit oh just clicked on two things and it just looked kind of cool and it used this effect called cc wide time which obviously i've never heard of that thing in davinci resolve i don't even but like essentially kind of like just samples multiple frames like that back and forth um if i wanted to explain it in paint let's say we have a video and then we have usually what you know when you're displaying a video it's only going to show one frame right here but instead what it's doing is that it's also going to show a bunch of other frames like behind and like you know it, it'll show like a blend of all of these which ends up making it look like it can make it look kind of blurry but it's like a certain aesthetic that some people can pull off i don't really know anyways i think i might have found something that kind of works relatively okay in davinci as well that's kind of like that but it's called motion trails um motion trails tile kind of does that the only downside is that instead of sampling frames before and after it really only samples the next frames like that so not exactly what someone would want oh wait never mind i'm dumb as fuck it samples the frames behind it my bad so instead of sampling this it only samples behind here and that's it so it still is a blend of all of these it's just different um i don't really know and maybe it's not like exactly what you want but in terms of just blending a shit ton of frames together you know funny fall guys moment um i don't know it can do the job is basically it um because you know sometimes i feel like what a lot of people do is that they search up like how to do this in davinci resolve instead of just like because you know no one knows what the fuck motion trails is people just know what wide time is so yeah no it's something like it that's basically it um you can legitimately just search it up um yeah